This is a demo for Splashtop Antivirus powered by Bitdefender. Splashtop Antivirus is a co-branded antivirus solution, which integrates Bitdefender's anti-malware technology with the Splashtop web console, allowing you to create custom scan policies, schedules, and exclusions. First, after you're logged into the web console at my.splashtop.com, click Management and Endpoint Security, or Management and Antivirus, depending on the product you're subscribed to. At the dashboard, you can see the number of licenses in your subscription. The total number of licenses is the number of unique computers that can be licensed in a calendar month. To install Splashtop Antivirus, select the computers or computer groups that you would like to install on. Click the Actions button, then Install Antivirus Software. Here, you can select which policy to assign upon installation. I can click Manage to edit or create policies as well, which I'll address later in this video. After clicking Install, you'll get a summary of all the computers that you have sent the install command to. Successful attempts will say In Progress. Computers that are offline will proceed with the installation when they come online. If you have run out of available licenses to install, it'll also let you know here as well. Once you click OK, the dashboard will update and show the computer's installation statuses. Usually the installation will complete in about five minutes or more, depending on the computer's network environment and resources. Click cancel if you would like to stop the installation. I'm gonna speed through a few minutes ahead and refresh the dashboard. Splashtop Antivirus is now installed and shows in the software column. Starting from the left of the dashboard, the status column shows the general protection status of the computer. The shield color will be red, yellow, or green, depending on the scan status and detected threats. The software column shows the name of the antivirus software installed on the computer. This can let you easily see if a computer is not protected. Additionally, you can view whether protection is enabled or disabled, the name of the assigned policy, timestamp of the last full scan, and number of detected threats. To create or edit custom policies, click Manage Policies. A default policy is configured by Splashtop for use if no custom policies are created. However, you can edit the existing policy or create a new one. First, assign a name to the policy. Depending on your subscription, you can also assign a group admin to help with managing the policy. Next, select the scanning profile. Normal is a recommended default, which provides an optimized balance between security and performance. There are a few different anti-malware scanning types supported. On access scans, we'll scan accessed files in real time. Advanced threat control is behavioral scanning, which monitors apps and processes with Bitdefender's scoring algorithm. On-demand scans are scans that can be scheduled or triggered by the user. There are options available to schedule full and quick scans on a daily or weekly basis. Lastly, you can add exclusions to the whitelist for any files, folders, processes, or extensions that you would like to exclude from scanning. In addition to anti-malware scanning, there are also additional features for firewall and web traffic security, which will scan traffic and prevent users from connecting to phishing websites. From the Policies page, you can set a different policy to use when sending the install command. Back at the dashboard, you can reassign another policy to a computer. The command is sent from the Splashtop cloud to the streamer and then to the antivirus agent, so the change is propagated quickly. Additionally, you can also trigger an on-demand scan either quick or full. To view scan details and other properties, click the details icon. Here, you can view and refresh additional info such as virus definition, scan task status, and threats. Now, we're going to fast forward to viewing detected threats. The status shows a red shield indicating issues found and number of threats is displayed. 
If the threats aren't displayed yet, you can update the threat info. The threat name, timestamp detected, file path, and action taken are displayed. Acknowledge the alert to get rid of the threat notification. You can also acknowledge all threats at once. If you need to temporarily disable the antivirus agent, you can do so from the dashboard. Choose the time interval, and the agent will re-enable after the chosen selection. Click re-enable to enable the agent before the time has passed. Finally, if you would like to configure email alerts to be notified when threats are detected, go to Management and Settings. Scroll down to the Endpoint Security section and configure email alerts for the owner or admins of the team. 